channel so today I'm gonna be doing this makeup look right here I got inspired by someone and let me tell you Instagram has so many talented makeup artists that I continuously keep on looking at their looks and I feel like recreating it and today I was just sitting to get ready and I thought why not recreate a look which I have been thinking since such a long time this is done by the girl named as divine amuse this is what she looks like and this is the makeup look that I was inspired by now her eyes are more on the yellowy orange side but I wanted to get a little bit of more orange and less yellow because I absolutely love oranges as you guys must be knowing so this is the makeup look that I came up with and let me tell you this girl is so freaking talented she has so many different looks and they are very very unique very creative you guys should totally check her out I absolutely love her so this is what I came up with so in case y'all want to know how to achieve this look because I have explained it step by step so that y'all can understand better each and every step is explained to y'all so that you know y'all can recreate this look I hope y'all do and if y'all do don't forget to tag me in your photos by the way so yeah in case y'all want to know how I achieve this look please keep watching Hi guys, so I've already primed my eyes with my concealer and I've set it with a translucent setting powder. Now we're just gonna move on to our transition shade. So today for my eyeshadows, I'm actually gonna be using this Morphe 35OM palette. I'm gonna start off with my transition shade, which is gonna be this color right here. And I'm going in venture wiper motions and circular motions as well. And I'm getting the eyeshadow right in my inner corners as well. Once you've done that, I'm just picking up a little bit more and applying the shade right near my eyebrow region. And I'm leaving this part right here empty so that there is space to highlight and just shading the inner corners. Once that is done, I'm taking this shade that is this orangish matte shade right here and I'm going to be applying that a little bit above my crease region, just a little bit and try and give that hint of orange keep it very close to your crease again i'm dragging this right to my inner corners i'm just building this color up and making sure that everything is well blended again taking my fluffy brush which i used to apply my transition shade i'm just blending everything out then I'm going to take a darker brown shade from this palette and I'm going to apply that directly onto my crease. So don't worry if this shade gets on your eyelids. That's just going to be covered by a darker brown shade. Just make sure that you're not applying this eyeshadow too much above the crease. Just try and keep it right in your face. We're just going to create a little bit of depth. Once you're done with that, I'm just going to take another brown, darker brown shade and I'm going to apply that directly onto my eyelids. Once you apply that color, I'm just taking another darker brown shade and applying it directly onto my eyelids as well. And I'm actually using my fingers because I feel like my fingers give me a better intensity. And then again with my blending brush, I'm just picking up that brown shade that we used earlier and blending the edges out. Then again, I'm just building the intensity of all the eyeshadows. I'm again picking up the orange shade that we used and applying it right where we had applied it and blend everything out. And then taking our transition shade again and blending everything out. Just so that we get all the shades that we've applied to appear on our eyes. Otherwise, they are just going to 
get blended away and you won't see any depth in your eyeshadow. Once that is done, I'm just taking my liner and I'm gonna line my eyes very close to my lash line. This is just so that our lash band of the falsies which I'm gonna apply later on are not seen. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara to prep my lashes for the falsies which I'm gonna apply. So now that our eyes are done, I'm gonna do my lower lash line a little bit later. First, I'm gonna complete my face and I'm so sorry about the lighting. It is raining outside and I unfortunately film in natural light. I feel like natural light is the best, but right now it's raining outside. So I'm very, very sorry for that. So I'm just gonna prime my face with my Maybelline Master Prime Faces Studio Prime and Base Blur and Smooth Primer, I suppose. I think that was just a very long name. And then for my foundations day, I'm going to be using my favorite foundation of all time. That is the Matte and Poreless Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade Sun Beige. That is 310. And then with my YPP Makeup Sponge, I'm just blending it out. apply concealer for concealer I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium and I'm gonna apply wherever I normally highlight I need a little bit of coverage that is under my eyes on my t-zone region on my corners of my mouth and the bridge of my nose and all of the gels my face completely i'm using my cover fx translucent translucent powder in the shade medium so i like using the shade medium because it's not going to alter the shade of my foundation or my concealer at all and i'm using my sponge itself to set everything in place Just taking my stippling brush, I'm going to stipple it all over my face to remove the excess product. Very gently. So I'm just going to finish my eyes first. So we are going to start off with our transition shade and we're going to go in the same order. I'm just taking a very fluffy blending brush and applying this very carelessly and very sloppily on my lower lash line. Then I'm just going to take another pencil brush, you can use any pencil brushes that you have. I'm just going to apply this right where I've applied the transition shade close to the lash line. And again blending this pretty downwards, not very, just a little bit, a little less than the transition shade that we applied. And then we are going to take the eyelid shade that we use, the darker brown shade and apply it very close to our lash line, lower lash line. So I'm again going to build this color up little by little. I'm using this brush from PAC 202. I absolutely love this brush for my lower lash line. It's very precise and very easy to use. Once that is done, I'm again going to take our transition shade and just blend the edges out. And then I'm just taking my plum cudgel and lining my inner waterline, my lower waterline I mean. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes as well. So now that our eyes are done, we're going to move on to the rest of our face and finish our makeup. So for bronzing, I am going to be using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Give Me Sun 
powder I think it is called as I'm not even sure what this is exactly called as it just says give me some mineralized skin finish that's it this is what it looks like and uh, I am just gonna bronze up my face using my Pro Art 176 F brush this is actually a blusher brush but I want to try to use this to apply my bronzer So I'm just applying my bronzer near my temples. I'm not applying it right in the middle right here. I'm just keeping it at the sides. And I'm also applying this right near my jawline. And then I'm just gonna contour my nose as well with the same bronzer. So this is just gonna help join that line and make your contour nose look a little bit more natural so for highlighter today i'm going to be using my chewy citrine powder highlighter this is what it looks like it's a very pretty goldish champagne color and in case you all want to buy this highlighter i'll link it down in the bottom bar from where i bought it I'm also highlighting my forehead a little bit. You see that? Oh my god. And then I'm also highlighting my inner corners as well. My cupid's bow, my inner corners, the bridge of my nose, all of that stuff. And then comes the last part our lips for lips today I'm gonna be using this Colourpop lippy stick in the shade hotline and this is in the matte finish again this is a beautiful lighter nude shade so right now this is too light for me so I'm just gonna mix this Maybelline lip gradation in the shade mauve one just at our outer corners to give it that gradient so guys this is the final result do you think it turned out perfect i absolutely love how it is looking right now the eyes are so sunsetty and everything so in case you want me to do any inspired makeup looks in the future inspired by anyone actresses celebrities anyone that you'll feel you all like the makeup on them and you all want to know how to achieve it don't forget to tag me in their photos so that i can do it for you all and you all can achieve any kind of makeup look with my guidance so yeah that's it for this video and also don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the makeup look that i came up with if you understood it whatever it is also comment in the comment box below what you all would like to see in the future and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so yeah that's it for this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!